Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 399. I am your host, Norman Sanzo, and just saying that phrase just now just hit me. We're almost at episode 400. Oh, wow. Um, I've been doing this for a while now. <laughs> but anywho, um, we have news for you this week. It's not good news. It's, it, well, it has something to do with that one Thing that YouTube did before yeah so let's hop right into it so first news is YouTube Copa policy now live lots of pony videos flag um, go fast cupcake HD now for kids huh? so article written by Sophisto uh, as of today YouTube's algorithm that automatically cause videos to comply with COPPA are now in full effect. That means load of pony videos that are definitely not for kids have been nailed with the automatic getting of their comments, playlist integration and other features. Unfortunately it's ridiculous sorry unfortunately it's ridiculously bad at actually targeting videos that are for kids. Pony in particular is suffering harder from this due to everything being cartoony and related to a usually for kids brand. Luckily, it's easy to fix. A content creator needs to simply go into their video setting, find the offending video and change their settings to not for kids. For the people out there that haven't posted anything in forever though it's going to be an interesting time as videos go videos about clip crop gore and other very much adult oriented material in the pony sphere are now 100% marked towards kids kids wow okay um one thing well, one good thing that sorry one good thing is that it doesn't seem to be targeting brony music a ton. I've had a few musicians point out that their videos are still flagged appropriately. Okay, so um, Master of Lag pointed this out to me, and I at, f at first I didn't really know um, what to think of it. It's a, it's a scary thing. Um, check out. It was it movie theory or game theory where Matt Pat talked about this topic specifically about what the video is, what does it do and stuff, or what Copa is in general. And on my end, I think I mentioned this before and it bears repeating, and that is that the MBS show is technically a show where its rating is PG-13 and up. It is not made for kids in mind, but we at the MBS show try to comply to the PG-13 and up and since I'm hosting this alone um, curse words are virtually non-existent uh, on the other show uh, review and discussion podcast uh, it is covered by SweetieBot SweetieBot goes in and scrubs it out and does her trademark that's not a word but that is for a different thing. But for this one, th this one here is confusing. The way they worded it in the YouTube settings for any content creator is that, you know, I'm going to go full screen for this one. Sorry. Um, the way they, they worded it for this one is that, is your video made for kids or is it not made for kids? And... There's a thing where if you set it to, oh, this video is not made for kids. And when the bot somehow look at it and they say that, oh, there's a lot of cartoony stuff here. You're lying. That means um, something. I, I'm not sure. But if you say it made for, was made for kids, but then it's then <laughs> you have stuff like cupcakes or whatever it is, y you have you'll be flagged and whatnot like see th this is the part where it's 
really, really hard to determine what the hay is going on. Uh, but YouTube recently updated their Q&A to say that, okay, if your video is cartoony and uber violent, uh, let's just say um, something like uh, Has Been Hotel. Has Been Hotel is a cartoon. Technically, it's made for kids. But the content inside is not meant for kids. No, not at all. So, if that's the case, uh, flagging it as not made for kids is appropriate. And since Habo um, has been Hotel is an original IP, they can get away with it easily. Problem with fan-created contents like Pony, Steven Universe, or even whatever it is that's out there are going to have a harder time passing this because you are a fan who works on a video like My Little Pony and it is meant for quote-unquote Debronies which is going to be 13 and up and so on but the problem is the algorithm don't really care they see this content which is oh My Little Pony that's for kids oh and when they see that oh that's a lot of um, cranberry juice we have to flag that thing. I mean, it's a lot of uncertainty. And YouTube, I as I mentioned before, YouTube released something where there's either in between. Um, it's not meant for kids, but it's safe for kids to watch, something like that. But that's the thing there. But when I check it out, there's only two settings not made for kids or not made for kids. That's right, um, not made and made. So this is one of those things where I am in between. The show is not technically made for kids, but it's safe for kids to watch. And it's just showing me talking about stuff. And I, I don't know. This person for me is a headache to deal with. And talking about headaches to deal with, Hasbro is having the same effect too. So. Uh, YouTube called Pop Policy Breaks Choose Your Own Adventure Equestrial Video. So, uh, article written by Sylvester again. It looks like Copa has one more side effect today with the algorithm going live. According to the rules, video cannot be linked at the end of videos for kids, which, <laughs> which effectively breaks all of the Choose Your Own Adventures. Uh, Equestria Girl shorts as they no longer have links to click at the end. Uh, a minor thing since this ha series has long since been over, over uh, but still another casualty in the world, <laughs> world of weird internet regulation. Alrighty then. Um, I haven't really personally gone and checked, but if that's the rule that Copa made, Sure, I guess. And like I mentioned before, even Hasbro is getting hit by this. Th this is one of those cases where Hasbro owns the IP, they publish it and stuff they technically made for kids. But because of this, um, what you call this, rule that they can't link videos at the end yeah technically the choose your own adventure thing is quote unquote screwed but i think there's a workaround i think there's a workaround for hasbro to try and get around this because the rule says videos cannot be linked at the end of Vide uh, videos for kids so why not put it in the description that doesn't really break the rule but kind of circumvent it by having links in the description there's one way to do it but in all honesty nobody really goes and reads the description unfortunately but at least that's a suggestion for Hasbro pro tip take it for free and oh yeah, earlier mentioned before, um, 
<coughs> I said my fellow like sent me something or told me something and this is it um he sent me a link to the Maracas Ladybug intro video um I was confused by why he sent it to me and I said I, I asked what is it I, I I don't really notice anything like there's nothing specifically in that video to raise a red flag and he pointed out to me that the comments were disabled I noticed the comments were disabled at first and thought nothing of it because it is a third party user uploading the intro to Moragas Ladybug so maybe probably getting the hates from the people so logically I have enough of this and I have enough comments but no um I still like told me that because of Copa it got comments were disabled and I could that's just confusing on a whole other level so in the end, um, Copa is something that content creators are having trouble with, YouTube themselves are having trouble with it, and wow, I got no idea. All I have to say that is I'm glad that the MDS show doesn't really focus on those kind of things, but at the same time too, we have to be really careful with what we do and if you're wondering what Copa is um, if I'm not mistaken Copa is the child children online protection policy act something like that child online protection policy act it's, it has to be something like that so yeah uh, and well with that the show is well news is over I, I don't have more there's one news where you can get a um bag tag similar to this yay rainbow dash yeah a, a luggage tag or a bag tag so yay that's much fun but mm, I, you can really only QD it's nothing much I, I don't have it here and not really into mm, talking about toys there's another thing where it <laughs> it hits the line of is this made for kids or not? Am I trying to sell kids something? Oh no. So yeah, um, let's move on to the next topic. And the next topic is what have I been doing with my week? And my week has been pretty cool. I've watched a movie and the movie is called Ip Man 4, the final chapter. For you guys who got no idea what that is, it is a Chinese movie st starring, starring Donnie Yen. Uh, he plays the role as Ip Man, the Wu No Shu uh, Wing Chun Master. He is the person that taught Bruce Lee how to fight. So, looking through the movie, uh, it's clear that it is a mm, not a documentary sort of thing, but more of a. Mm, what I'm looking to do, I, I got no word for it. More of a just use the name and try to do stuff. So yeah, it's <laughs> that's bad. But it is a fun movie, and I've and en enjoy watching it. And yeah, if you are into kung fu movies, action movies, or even Chinese movies, go check it out. I'm not sure if it's playing in your neck of the woods, America, or Europe, but. Check it out. It's a lot of fun. Other than that, um, got nothing. Haven't been playing much games because work. But hey, um, got nothing. <laughs> uh, really need to clean up some games like playing Resident Evil Two for the PC. Oh, um, I also clean this a bit. My stack of stuff here. Yeah, clean that a bit. And then my TV area there, that's clean a bit. Yeah, did a lot of cleaning. Yes, but uh, that's the news for this week. And that's 
my week haven't been doing much not sure what I'm gonna do for this week so we'll see but anywho um, let's wrap it up if you guys have any questions concerns or suggestions for the show you can contact us at the gmail.com you can also reach us on the Twitter the show's Twitter account is at the show and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo you can also sorry um, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And stitch to radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us live on I'm sorry, you can also catch us on ponyvillelive.com. Uh, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes. Sorry. Um, do follow the MBS show review and discussion podcast on iTunes and Stitch Radio. Over there you'll catch me, Silver Quilt and Torterra reviewing the pony episodes, comics, specials. And, well, we like to do other things, watching movies, talking about games, comics, and whatnot. And soon to come, it's the list of movies that we watch of 2019. There is a lot to cover here, and there's a lot to talk about. So, hope you guys stick around for that. That would be next week and this week for the Patreons. And talking about Patreons, if you would like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash MBS show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcasts, exclusive and deleted content, and a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Amy, Lucky Knight, Jeffrey, Master Black, and also Tristan. Okay, that's a weird way to do it. But anywho, um, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll guys catch you next week with a, well, next week will be episode 400. Oh, wow. I got nothing ready for that. <laughs> so anywho, I'll catch you guys next week. See ya.